Hey, my peeps, LTS Crypto. All right, I had a question, actually, just in a conversation yesterday about how do you get your XRP off of your Coinbase wallet that was, or Coinbase account, and you say, well, what's the issue? Why can't you do it? You know, well, if you go back and look, uh, and you look at Coinbase, uh, you'll notice there's no XRP on it. You know, if you go to the actual website where it says coinbase.com there is not any xrp and in the last couple of weeks there has been announcements concerning the actual wallet that that they had developed will not support xrp either so what's the deal with that if you go back now let's go back to the beginning and then i'll give me about two minutes two minutes to explain the background of this and then maybe we'll, it'll make more sense when we start doing it but when you go back to the very beginning XRP was actually quietly brought into Coinbase. You'll see this on the Twitter uh, from February 28th, 2019. It said XRP is launching at Coinbase.com and in the iOS and Android apps within the next 15 minutes. You may need to update your app to properly buy, sell, or convert XRP. We will update when XRP is fully live. Okay, that's 2019. Now the issue the issue is then the SEC steps in and then all of a sudden everybody got squirrely and then January 19th on 2021 it says that Coinbase will suspend trading in XRP on January 19th in light of the SEC's recent actions against Ripple Labs Inc Coinbase plans to suspend trading in XRP on Tuesday January 19th 2021 at 10 a.m. PST Pacific Standard Time okay and that's Okay, so that's written December 28th, 2020. That's that's two years ago. All right, so so what did I do? Um, I left it on there. That's what I did. You know, I was starting out, didn't really know about MetaMask or Trust Wallet. Okay, so what I have done is I actually went on the phone and I have recorded uh, me on the phone uh, moving this stuff over to my trust wallet and you can do it to whatever you can do it to metamask or you can do it to whatever wallet you want to that's you know a decentralized wallet and so um, i'll just show you from my trust wallet how it went and take you through it all right here's my recording from it and i'm gonna open up my coinbase app in there i want to look for xrp and guess what it is still in there because you kind of hit see all uh it's down right there see it eleven dollars and sixty cents worth okay so then you're going to actually uh click on your balance where it says your balance is 1160 yours is going to be different i'm sure and then up there at the top right you're going to have a little arrow going to your right you're going to click on it and it's going to ask you for an address which means now you got to go back over to your trust wallet and get your address for XRP. All right, so let's go over there. If you got an Android, you just hit the little the little square down there and, and swap. Okay, uh, go to receive. Type in XRP. All right, click on XRP. All right, make sure everything looks right. There's SRP on, uh, it's supposed to be on its own network. Hit copy. That will copy your your Trust Wallet address. All right, once you do that, then you will take that back to your Coinbase account. All right. And then you're going to get an error message with XRP, which you will probably get with a couple of other things as well about tags. What is, you know, there's XRP memo. Is there supposed to be a memo or a tag with this, okay? Well, as you saw, I'll take you back over there. Uh, I'll take you back over to the trust wallet. And it says, no tag required. You see that? No tag required. Okay, so you verify. It does not require a tag. All right, so you go back over here. Click, I understand. No tag is required. Yes, I'm sure. There's no tag. No tag is required. All right, and then you're going to put your amount that you want to send. Hit next. It says you're sending send now. And it gives you your network ripple, which is correct. 
and then you're going to have to do two-factor authentication if you set that up and so you'll get your your text message type that in anytime you withdraw anything it, it has you authenticate so type in your seven digits All right, successfully sent. Now let's start checking the balances. Check your balances. You should have zero balance. Yep, zero balance XRP here because I sent all of it. And then now we gotta go over to the other wallet, the trust wallet, and see, do I have a balance of XRP here? And it says, no. All right, we'll refresh it. However you refresh it. Do a refresh. Oh, there it is. Okay, showed up in there. And again, XRP is pretty quick. Some of you have to wait for. But notice on here, there's actually, to bring XRP into a new wallet, it's going to cost you 10 XRP to do it. Okay, so that's, I didn't realize that. So just be aware of that. That's why it's less than what it was. And there's actually a help section for setting up your XRP wallet. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's set up. The XRP's in there. And it's, um, I, can, I can get to it. And it's now in a decentralized wallet. And so I'm thinking that's about all I got for the, the mobile. You don't have to watch me doing that. But, but realize there's probably a bunch of people out there that's got little piddly amounts in there. You know, otherwise, if you had a whole bunch, you would have figured it out. But uh, that's how you do it. And the, the, the system is the same for any other coin. All right? You just make sure you got the right network. And I will tell you, that Coinbase is bad about putting a, a coin that is supposed to be on another network on Ethereum. How do I know? Because I had some phantom token I bought and I sent it. It sent it on the Ethereum network and it, I sent $50 worth of phantom and it cost me $40 worth of Ethereum gas. Phantom's not supposed to be that high on gas. But anyway, so just be aware. Make sure it's on the right uh, network. Uh, also, Coinbase has now expanded its network. I think you can do you can do Polygon, you can do Ethereum, of course. Uh, you can do um, um, you can do uh, uh, Avalanche, and there was one more I can't remember right now. But they've added some to it, so you can do that. And then if you if you're willing to bridge your tokens, and it takes a long time to bridge some tokens, uh, you can send them to your wallet and then bridge them over to whatever network you have all right but anyway anyway if you have any questions put them down uh, below let me know uh, what you think if you got an easier way of doing it please let me know and of course uh hit the uh, like button if you do like uh if you are if you want to know about the next video hit the notification and also uh, i want to thank y'all to the the few subscribers that i have uh, i'm just wondering who the next one will be let me know if you are the next one uh, also, shout out to the Morrows. Thank y'all for the, the question. Thanks, Cherry, for the question. And uh, you can tell the boys uh, and the girls, uh, hello, and uh, the, the hubby. And uh, But anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all next video. I'm LTS Crypto. Bye.